This conference will now be recorded. Hello everyone. I am Srinivas, Srinivas Gurepati. As part of this video, I want to present regarding a selected value function in a DAX. So most of the time, the business users used to ask, they want to display the selected value from a slicer. They will they want to project or highlight the value that they are selected as part of a report. By default, slicer has the capability to highlight a value, whatever it is selected. It is going to display the selected value over here. And if it is only one value, one value will be showcased. If it is a multiple values, it is going to project as a multiple values. But that highlight will happen as part of the visual only here. You cannot provide a customization. I want to increase the font or you want to like increase the font or a font family or change the font color. If you want to customize it, we have a limited capabilities are there with respect to slicer. Now, if you want to highlight that value as part of any other place as part of a report, you can use a selected value to create a measure to get the value whatever we selected and you can present it. Let's see how you can implement that one. You can create a new measure. New measure. I'm mentioning it as a selected value. So I can specify the selected value. Selected value. And you can mention a dimension name. In this scenario, I want to select book name. It is a dimension which is going to contain a multiple values. And alternative result. Alternate result is nothing but if you are not select any value or if you select a more than one value, what you want to represent. I just want to represent all. Now click on enter. So I create a measure and I am representing that as part of a card visualization over here. Card visualization. So I'm dis disabling the category labels and I can reduce the size of a text. So here, if you're not selecting anything, it is displaying as all. And if you select any value, the selected value is going to display. whatever the value that you select. So selected value is a function which is going to return a value if it is selected one or if the context of a dimension is a single value. If the context of a dimension is more than one value, it will display the alternative result whatever you mentioned. In this scenario, I mentioned as a all, which means even if you select more than one value, all will display. This is an incorrect thing. It should not display like that. So we can fix this one by displaying all the list of selected values with the help of a cat, like a concatenate x function, which we are going to see as part of a next video. So the selected value function is going to return the selected value from a dimension and this is not going to applicable with respect to slicer. Even with the help of a visualizations, if I select a specific book here, it is displaying a Java. 
So the selected value not only going to work with a slicer, it is going to work with respect to context. At any point of time, if it contains a single value, that value is going to represent. If it is contains a more than one value, at that time alternative result it is going to represent. That is what the functionality of a selected value. If you have any questions, just give me a comment. I will respond on top of it. Thank you so much.